Hi, air travel lovers. Welcome back to Marco Polo Club Flyer. I'm on board a Singapore Airlines Airbus A380 and I'm in its lavatory. And now, sit back, relax, enjoy, and relish the experience with Singapore Airlines A380 Suites Class from Hong Kong to Singapore. Arriving at the Singapore Airlines check in counters a bit late, there were no queues at all and the counters were about to close. Let's now jump forward to Singapore and discover the Silver Crisp First Lounge, to which Suites Class passengers flying into Singapore have access upon arrival. The First Class Lounge, which welcomes Star Alliance First Class Passengers Plus One, is a separated mini wing located right next to the Business Class Lounge. Given its very restricted eligibility, the lounge is just a small one. But let's head to an even more exclusive area that is further restricted to Singapore Airlines' own first or suites class passengers and excludes their guests. The Private Room The Private Room is a positively private room that privately provides proper premium passengers perfect privacy in a petite private place. Yes, it's simply a room that has lounge chairs and a restaurant at the far end of it, but this is all done with a quiet and timeless elegance that is unparalleled by any lounge I have been to. And now, let's let loose our taste buds. Um, can I order the lobster with lobster? Yes, can you order that? And also a glass of champagne, please. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you. The 2008 Chattinger Comte de Champagne was a surprise find in the lounge, and its smooth bubbles were the perfect companion to the delicious and spicy lobster laksa. And back to Hong Kong, I was about to get on board the double-decker jet set to depart from gate 23. The last time I travelled on an Airbus A380 was back in 2013, nearly 10 years ago on Qantas. So it was really not easy to hide my joy when I got on board the upper deck of the jet. Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines. As the safety equipment on this aircraft may differ from that on other aircraft, please give us your attention as we bring you through this important safety briefing and on a journey through Singapore. Welcome again to the suites on board Singapore Airlines A380. The six suites take up the very front of the upper deck of this double-decker airliner. Suite 2A was my private room for the next three and a half hours. If I was to use one word to describe the suite, it would be cozy and luxurious. Well, these are two words. But to be very frank, my first impression when I stepped into the suite was just extreme wow. Okay, still two words. But I knew even before any in-flight service had begun 
that this would be one of the best flight experiences I have ever had or likely would ever have. The amount of storage space around the entire suite is also stunning. You never have to worry about running out of room to place your inside items. However, the closet was just a bit too small for my Remoa Cabin Plus suitcase, which the stewardess then kindly helped me store in the galley. The seat itself was supremely comfortable, and you can plainly see how excited I was when I found out I could rotate the seat like this. <laughs> Neither the brand of the headsets nor the size of the TV mattered as the suite itself was a veritable playground and already an immense source of entertainment to me, and I spent much time taking photos and videos in and around it. Please just check out my Instagram, cxka underscore ken, for more traveling shots. After takeoff, you'll be serving some uh, drinks with um, mixed nuts. Did you just find anything interesting here? <laughs> There's a lot here. <laughs> uh, Let me recommend our silver crystalline. So I think that's a great offer. Uh, good idea. to start. <laughs> yes. Now that we are in the air, let's pamper our taste buds with the SQ Culinary Experience. I decided to walk around this biggest passenger jet in the world. When I got back to the suite, I found that the bed had been made. Magic? Of course not. A stewardess kindly made the bed for me when I was away despite the short flight time as she strongly and correctly suspected that I would want to take photos of it. Real kudos to them for making me feeling at home, even though this fully loaded flight was just a short one. I did not want to see the lights outside of the windows, for they could only mean we were fast approaching the Singapore Changi Airport, and that it was soon time to bid a sad farewell to this lovely experience. After flying in the suites, I'm afraid I may never be able to go back to any other first class product. The space and the hardware in the suites was jaw dropping. SQ's own first class cabin on the 777 300ER do not come close. I was also deeply impressed by the hospitality on board this flight, which exceeded even the service I received in my previous SQ flight in first class. The four stewardesses working in suites were also super fun, friendly, and engaging. The team definitely made the experience so memorable, and I was more than just a little bit disappointed when it came time to say goodbye. The catering was the one and only small blemish on this flight. Apart from the mismatched soup and what to me a sapa beef cheek main course, I was also surprised to learn that there was no more bottled water available after takeoff. Although the crew offered to refill my first bottle for me, it just didn't look good to run out of bottled water so early on in the flight in suites. Welcome to Singapore, ladies and gentlemen, and to all residents. 
of Singapore a warm welcome home. It's been a pleasure serving you on this flight. Thank you for flying Singapore Airlines, a member of Star Alliance. Once again, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the cabin crew on board this flight. Thank you so much for taking good care of me, and I hope to see the team again one day. Thank you for relishing the air travel experience with me today. May I invite you to join me in savoring our next journey. Thank you.